Hey, how's it going guys? Zeta here. So today I wanted to bring in my full review of Astrobot on PlayStation 5. And this also includes after getting the Platinum Trophy for this game. Now, unfortunately, with my first impressions video that I made a few days ago about this game, you know, I was just singing all the praises. I was mentioning that uh, this game is perhaps, so far, for me, is a masterpiece. I did not see this game going any lower than that. I did not see this game getting like a 9 out of 10, because for me, at the time, it was 10 out of 10. Unfortunately, though, after finishing the game and platinum it, I can confidently say that it is not a 10 out of 10 for me. But it is still is a 9 out of 10. Again, guys, you know, putting the numbers on the, on, the, on the titles, on the games, it's not exactly warranted, and numbers don't exactly represent what the games has to offer. So the only reason I'm, I'm even mentioning the numbers and stuff like that, it just makes it kind of easier to understand where my point of view is for this game. Nevertheless, I will be getting into the good, the bad, and, well, quite a little bit of an ugly as well. A few of the bad things as well I want to mention, first of all, that are not going to be explicit regarding of the Astro Bot, but what it has to do around it. I will explain all this in this video, so stay tuned. So I want to get into the positive, one of the most innovative and platformers of all time, I personally think that Astrobot is. It very is much a treat and a delight to be going through this adventure, playing through, seeing all the mascots, all the references from PlayStation games, and just games in general. It is a delight. I absolutely love that. It puts a smile on my face. <laughs> I just thought, I, for a second I thought about a Joker for some reason. Not really for some reason, obviously, because of them. You know, the quote that he mentions. <laughs> so, it builds on the PlayStation history rather than relying on it. It's actually a good thing, because I think that when you overuse something to the point that just like you rely on it basically just for that, it could be a detriment. And in this case, Astrobot, I personally think that they relied a lot on the merits and nostalgia, the games, characters of the older PlayStation titles, it doesn't necessarily that it die, it does too much just so it will be nostalgic. I'm glad about that because this game can hold its own even without all these things. And that's why I think it definitely is a positive. Because this game tries to be what it is. It's a platformer through and through. Now there are plenty of beautiful and varied of level designs uh, crafted and made for Astrobot and there are in a larger scale as well including of course when well, I'm comparing this from Astro's Playroom but nevertheless this is a treat a delight to be going through there's plenty of fun interactivities and quite a just gimmicks are not even overused and I really appreciate that makes it kind of a a nice way of going through the game and exploring and seeing new things. Now, even though, like, look, there's a large collection of collections of levels, right? And there's full of secrets to explore and things to find and things to see within this world of Astrobot. I absolutely love that. And yet, also, while going through and coming back, because remember, I went for a platinum trophy, so I had to revisit some of the places again. It's nice, you know, your second time seeing it once again, and you're like. Man, such a nostalgia, such a beautiful moment, such a fantastic level design, or whatnot, right? It is, it's awesome, it really is. Now, it also has some of the, I can't really say, I will mention it in here anyway, I feel like I should, a soundtrack. I feel like there are a few good soundtracks in here, and especially with the one with the tree. That's all I'm gonna mention about that. Uh, again, guys, do play for yourself. I think it's a very a delight, a treat for you to experience it for yourself. And yet, also, just that I don't think necessarily all the musics here are my type, if that makes sense. You know, I don't really listen to this sort of soundtracks, but I can definitely see how they could be appealing, especially for this sort of a title. Now, power ups, okay? So I very much wanna mention this because I feel that there are plenty, but not to the point that are overwhelming. If you guys know in video games, right? They constantly give you things to add on, additions to go through, skills to unlock, and skills that you'll be able to use and utilize. And that could be a become a problem, because after all, all of the time, right? Let's say you're playing this one particular game, that's okay, because you're playing from A to B, and you finish it, you're good there. The muscle memory, how you play the game, it all is there. But if you te if you move away from the game and play something else for like maybe a week or two or three, you come back to the older game that you've been playing, 
but then you completely forgot how the game even plays because there's so many button layouts, so many combinations, and so many things to be looking, you know, paying attention to. And they actually can get quite overwhelming. In this case, Astrobot, even though they introduce new things, but yet they also take them away just to make sure that it's not overdone and just overstays its welcome. And I think I really like that. Again, it is a platformer, so maybe I shouldn't really be considering this and just thinking about, uh, you know, on a larger scales like th AAA games such as like Days Gone, Days Death Stranding, you know, Grand Theft Auto or whatnot, right? Maybe it's not exactly fair to make that kind of comparison, but still, this is a positive, I think, that this game definitely deserves to be mentioned. And one other thing that positive I definitely want to mention, it is a fantastic use and very creative use of the DualSense controller features. You know, it's just the vibration, the haptic feedback, it very is much fully utilized within this game. And I'm kind of disappointed at the fact that it, the controller, the PlayStation 5 DualSense controller, is not utilized even more in other titles. I I'm still surprised why the developers just don't choose to do this. I, I kind of understand, to be honest with you, because the Xbox and the third party, uh, yet also, I still think that they need to, to put more time and effort into the PlayStation 5 controller because the things that it's got and it supports is fantastic. And I think it very much deserves it uh, to get all of the development time that you can and making sure that the PlayStation 5 controller, while you're playing the specific game, can utilize all the bells and whistles. And when it does, it's a delight. Because, mind you, the PlayStation 5 controller, it's not a gimmick. You know, the features it has. It's so important that it will be very awkward and odd if the PlayStation 6, you know, whatever, right? Like, it will, if that would not have these things. In fact, I'll say the PlayStation 6 needs to have even more of these features. These were all of the positives. Yeah, as you may have just noticed, I have not mentioned relating anything to the Platinum Trophy. There are some trophies relating to this game are fantastic, but there's one particular trophy that drove me out at the wall. It very much frustrated me because, mind you guys, my experience of playing Astro Bot, it came from Astro's Playroom. Astro's Playroom was a casual experience of at least even getting a Platinum Trophy. There were not many, if at all, any sort of challenging runs and things or paths to do within that game and so that's why I had my expectations that okay maybe it will be something of a simple a linear or at least a charming experience that I've had in Astro's Playroom it will be same thing done here in Astro's Bot. No. Instead I was very quite disappointed at the fact that this got way too challenging because guys if you do not know me, I'm not much of a platformer guy. I'm not interested in these sorts of titles. Like, it is a fantastic game if you're a platformer like guy that really like these sorts of games, then yeah, I don't think you're gonna have too much issues, perhaps, maybe, I don't know. That there are some challenging levels in here that it will be required of you to do because you need to 100, pretty much 100% the game if you want to get the Platinum Trophy within this game. So this means you have to do everything that this game has to offer. That's not the bad problem. The bad, the bad issue comes for me is the frustration that I felt at the end of the day when I was going for that platinum trophy and there were few runs that were absolutely ridiculous especially the final run that you're seeing it right now in the gameplay this alone took me three hours like and through two days of constantly trying to get this done because at the end of the day I was super annoyed I turn on my PlayStation 5 console, I pretty much rage quit as well, because this final level especially. There were a few others as well, but it wasn't as bad as this one. Now, like I said, I'm not very much into, you know, platforming games, and this got in through and through platforming style games with hard, pretty much hardcore difficulty for me at least. And this is, this is the reason I started to really thinking about, you know what, I'm gonna have my eyes open on the next Astro Bot game. If this same thing is gonna be present in the next Astro Bot, because I do expect the next Astro Bot game actually having even more levels and more challenging things to do, especially if you wanna get that Platinum Trophy, then yeah, you're gonna be solely disappointed because I'm not fucking gonna get the next Astro Bot game, if that's the case. Because I don't wanna go through this ever again. I don't want to get, yeah, go through this such a challenging experience while I thought it would be more casual because Astro's Playroom already gave me that kind of sense that it would be more casual experience. But then Astro Bot releases, I'm super excited, I'm gonna, definitely gonna get that Platinum Trophy. Oh man, what in the world was some of these levels? And yet also, there's some people actually say that to get the Platinum Trophy for this game, I personally believe that's bullshit because a lot of people don't know how much effort you need to put into some of these levels. 
Anyway, maybe I'm just a bad gamer, I don't know. But like, I am going to admit, though, I'm not very good with platform games. And that's why I'm not very much a fan of them. That's all I want to mention about that. So yeah, my advice not to get this platinum trophy for this game. But do play for the story and how it goes about. And just experience all these levels that they have to offer. And if you can't get through them or they're way too challenging. Because they are some quite challenging. Don't bother with them. Because it, they're honestly, it's not worth it. All the frustration and hassle. Now, I... There's not a few things that I definitely want to mention, the bad parts. It's also the motion control segments, unfortunately, don't work as flawlessly as they perhaps should have. For example, I'm turning my controller while I'm on a ship, right, just flying through, or flying through, starting the level up, and then you, fl and I'm trying to uh, turn my controller because that's the way of doing it anyway. I turn right, then no, he just doesn't do it, or he does it too late, and then I turn like, it's a mess. It needs to be a lot more kind of fluid experience and the motion controls I don't believe they are are well done to the point I would say that they're justified of saying it's a good thing or a bad thing because in my opinion it is a bad thing at least it was not that you know it was not good, not that great at least and another thing honestly I don't know if this is a bad thing okay so I'm gonna mention it in here but please don't take this as a negative point because I don't consider this a negative point for Astrobot I want to mention here because there is a PlayStation thing. After playing Astrobot, and I put in 22 hours of trying to get this Platinum Trophy, I noticed how how bad the DualSense uh, battery controller is. Like, I constantly had to keep plugged in. And on top of that, I have DualSense Edge, and I'm just starting to... Because DualSense Edge, if you guys did not know, the battery is even smaller than, than normal DualSense. It's very very poor excuse to have such a small battery well again maybe because of the bells and whistles it has inside of it yeah so i just wanted to mention it here because like the pleasure 5 controller really needs to bump up the batteries because my goodness they are very appalling now one more and last thing i want to mention in terms of the negative this definitely is a negative for me the game is too short I'm sorry, it's just too short. It needs to be lengthier. I actually would even argue, say, you need to double size it in terms of how much you're asking for the price. 60 bucks, 70 euros, 78 to 80 euros. It's it's not worth it, at least the size of the content that it offers. Because I personally think this game actually could have used a little more bloat. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but yeah, I do think this game could have used it. I think that is just too short. That's the issue. And that's why I think that $60 is not w worth the asking price. Now, no matter how great the game is, but if being that is super, super short and it doesn't offer anything else, that, is that really worth it? Because I platinumed it, like you can platinum this game in 15 hours, for, but you're asking 60, 60 bucks for it? I don't know. It really depends on you and how you view things in terms of the... Uh, you know the money how much income do you have how much you ex how much you can actually spend and what you consider games to be quality or quantity what matters to you most of course that's it really is up to you where you spend your money at so it's fine either way all right guys that's all i wanted to mention about astrobot on the playstation 5 i had fun and uh I will be quite keen on checking it out the next astrobot game but i'm not going to be holding my breath since due to well, I don't want to go through that kind of a challenge and once again just to be frustrated at the end of the day and just be feel feel like, oh man, I kind of wasted my time. Just, I, I don't want that feeling ever again. So I think I might be completely done with platformer games and uh, I'm just going to check it out on YouTube. That would be a much cheaper option anyway <laughs> because it's still not long enough either, like I mentioned already. Anyway, guys, that's just my thoughts, and uh, do let me know as well what you think about Astrobot. I'm sure a lot of people will say I'm wrong and whatnot. It's a 10 out of 10. It's a game of the year masterpiece. I don't think so. I, I genuinely do not think that this game is a game of the year, though. Nevertheless, thank you again so much for watching. Like and subscribe. See you guys all, and uh, yeah, have a good one.